Yes. So, would you be friends with Lindsay in real life? Fuck yeah. Can I curse? <laughs> Take two. Um, freak yeah. <laughs> I would, yeah. She's a blast. And honestly, she gives good advice. She's always, like, if you really track the show, those diner scenes, she's giving Gretchen some good advice, like, don't become a sweater person, like, do butt stuff with your husband or with your boyfriend tonight. You know, she has, people don't think she's caring, but she is. I stand by Lindsay. And then what do you think is the worst thing Lindsay's ever done? Um, stab her husband and artificially inseminate herself with a turkey baster. And then what's the worst thing that's been done to Lindsay? Um, oh yeah, when Paul went off with that other chick. I don't even remember her name. I blocked it out. I got offended by that. He cheated on her. With an online girl, IRL. And then what's your fondest memory from the show? Oh my, there's too many. I don't know if there's one. Just any time the four of us have a scene together, and then better yet, when the supporting cast, which is like Sunday fun days, when everybody is together. That's my favorite, honestly. And then if they were going to do like a 10-year reunion, what would you want Lindsay to have been doing the past 10 years? I mean, I'm not going to lie. The, as a human, I want her to do well. But as an actor, I love when she does screwed up things. Like, I love when she goes off the rails. So, like, as a human, I hope that she's still with Paul and, like, you know, in a happy, healthy marriage. But as an actor, I hope she's in rehab or something. You know what I mean? Like, I hope she's in, like, you know, the psych wars, like, you know, causing trouble in there. <laughs> comes back and she's like uh, Sarah Connor at the beginning of Terminator. Exactly. Oh yeah, she's doing pull-ups. I wouldn't mind that. I could, I could train for that. Yeah. Thank you so much.